another ballistics comparison video. Today I am comparing the 300 Win Mag to the 6.5 Creedmoor at 1,000 yards. There is a rumor going around the internet that uh, the 6.5 Creedmoor can outperform the 300 Win Mag at 1,000 yards. So I wanted to go do a comparison, look up the ballistics and the low data, and see what I came up with myself. So uh, I took the low data from IMR, Hogden's Reloading Centers. I use the Federal Premium's Ballistic Calculator. I also use Hornady Reloading Data. Uh, and then I use an average calculator to get the average results. So without further ado, let's get started here. They don't have recoil data for the 6.5 Creedmoor. It is very similar to the 260 Remington, although the 260 Remington does kick a little bit more. So these numbers will actually be a little bit less. I would say probably one pound less. With a 120 grain bullet, you get about 13 pounds of recoil. I would imagine that's probably about 12. And then 11.9 with 140 grain. 300 wind mag, 23 pounds. On the 150 grain, 26 pounds. On the 165, 25.9. 180, of course, this depends on the gun, the barrel length, the weight of the gun, of course and then the low data obviously and the, the weighted bullet so there's some variables but as you can see you're getting about yeah at least double the kick out of the 300 mag than you get out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. Let's move on down to commercial ammo available for both of these. And again these numbers are at a thousand yards I'm not going to read all of them I have a, a summary of the average but you can see here there's quite a bit to choose from for both manufacturers from the factory. The 300 Win Mag starts out with the 178 grain ELDX. This is a great hunting round. Uh, not the most efficient ELDX bullet out there. The BC's 535, which isn't uh, very high for the ELDX round that Hornady is producing. Uh, it, and with that BC, you get 194 foot pounds at 1,000 yards. Moving down to 200 grain is quite a bit better, 1115 foot pounds. And they're both about 285 inch drop there. The 180 grain SST performs very similar to the 178 grain ELDX, 146 foot pounds there, slightly less. Uh, it is moving faster out of the muzzle than the ELDX is, but it has lower BC coefficient, so it does perform slightly less. Because it's moving faster, it's able to get there a little bit quicker a little bit less drop so uh, GMX very similar to the SST 165 GMX uh, this actually looks like a pretty decent round right here uh, 759 foot pounds at a thousand yards 262 inch drop so it's not a ton difference and then these 180 grains it'll kick less drop is less but the energy is pretty similar moving down to the partitions the partitions are Hornady's or not Hornady excuse me Nostler's older hunting rounds the partition is very uh, it's been around a long time so it's tried and true great hunting round it doesn't have a very high ballistic coefficient see here so the 180 grain only has 576 foot pounds of energy at a thousand yards so if you're going to be hunting this would not be my top choice if you're planning on shooting out past you know three or four hundred yards max uh, and then maybe even within that uh, trophy bonded tip better ballistic coefficiency there 787 same weight as that partition so you can see just the ballistic coefficient is quite a bit less and then uh, the Sierra Match King, just throwing this guy in here, it's the best one I could find from the factory. 1,068 foot-pounds of energy at 1,000 yards. And this is not a hunting bullet, it's a match bullet uh, for targets and stuff like that, etc. Moving down to the Creedmoor. Creedmoor, of course, was designed by Hornady. So Hornady has the most ammo available for it. Let's move on. The 143 grain ELDX, 815, 147. This again is a match only bullet, 944. I wish it was for hunting because it, it performs very awesome. And these are available from the factory. The funny thing is here, and I'll show you that in just a second, the factory loads here perform better than the hand loads do for these bullets. I am sure there are if you wanted to take the time and customize the loads for your specific rifle you'd be able to get better performance than this but the the general load data available actually uh, produces less energy at a thousand yards than the factory loads do here and I'll show you that here in just a second uh, kind of the same story here they have several ELDs available for match so depending on the weight you want down to 120 grain ELD 596 
foot-pounds of energy, so it performs actually better than the 180 grain partition at 1,000 yards, and that's one of their lower ones, and that's only a 120 grain bullet. Uh, pretty impressive there. Uh, 130 grain, 799. 129 grain SST is 661. 140 grain is uh, 138. Uh, I like this guy right here. I think that would be a, a good all-around option there because look at the drop there. Quite a bit less drop there. Uh, and this guy just doesn't have the ballistic coefficient uh, to keep that drop down. So uh, Down here uh, we have some nostrils. I'm skipping these in the middle there. The long range Nossler bullet, 116 foot pounds of energy. So that one is also a decent one. That one is better than uh, many of the other ones up there. I mean, look at the comparison here for the 130 grain. It does outperform that slightly. I did not, it looks like I messed up on the drop there. That's probably two in there or three in there, 249 probably. Uh, moving down, 592 for the ballistic tip. And then the open tip match bullet, for, uh, federal ammunition, 733. So here's the averages here. The 6.5 Creedmoor averages 717 foot-pounds of energy at 1,000 yards. And the 300 Win Mag does 858 at 1,000 yards. So that's, looking at that, that is not too shabby for the 6.5 Creedmoor. It, uh, it's just on the tells of the 300 Win Mag. But unfortunately, that right here is where the competition kind of ends between these two, uh, and where that rumor is kind of put the rest. Uh, Hornady designed the 6.5 Creedmoor, but they have also released some very amazing 30 caliber bullets recently. The ELDXs perform extremely well. I didn't put any of the matches in. They do have some great match bullets as well, but these perform very good. So I just went ahead and, and did the ELDXs here. Uh, I did throw in the one match up here because of the high BC. It is the highest ballistic coefficient uh, for the 6.5 Creedmoor. And looking here, so the 140 grain ELDX hand loaded with uh, 40.9 grains of the hybrid 100V powder produces 711 foot pounds of energy a thousand yards. Go up to the factory load and you're 815. So that's what I was talking about there. 104 foot pounds less. And I imagine you can get that better. And, I, and probably beat this one with a little bit of customization and working on the load there. But uh, just off the bat, using the max load data available from Hogden's and IMR, that's what we get. Uh, and then the the amazing 697 BC bullet produces 140 foot-pounds at 1,000 yards using 41.5 grains. Again, these are the max loads. Uh, and that is still less than even the... Oh, I passed it. That is less than this up here, the factory load there, 100 less. And, and Hornady might be doing that on purpose because they did create this round. They may want you to buy their factory ammo for it, uh, which is very convenient, but it, it will cost you. I mean, you're double the price probably for, for buying that over reloading it. Uh, and that might be their motivation there. I know they have some proprietary uh, superformance powders that they've designed and, and perfected that give them these extra numbers there. They use them in their SSTs quite often, and that's why their S a lot of their SSTs perform better from the factory than you can reload them because they have some good research into the uh, reloads that they do, the, the load data that they have that's uh, specific to them. Moving on, 300 Win Mag. Uh, the lowest BC here is the 178 grain. It only has a 535, which is still a good BC. Uh, just not great compared to the other ones uh, that we're kind of comparing here. 998 foot-pounds of energy. So right here, these two are are, are close, uh, but still this is 150, 150 foot-pounds more. And that's really where it ends. Uh, the 300 Win Mag just kind of takes off from there. The 626 BC 200 grain ELDX bullet has 1,216 foot-pounds. And then the, the best one here is the 212 grain. This is the best all-around bullet uh, that you can get. 1,355 foot-pounds there. And then I did add, just to show you the difference here between the ballistic coefficients, this guy is moving a couple hundred feet per second higher than, than some of these other ones. But you can see how low that is, uh, partially due to the weight of the bullet, but mostly due to the lower ballistic coefficient. 
and uh, the drop is lower because it's getting there faster at the beginning. It doesn't drop quite as much, but uh, it just doesn't maintain that energy that these other ones do. And this one is a superb bullet right here with the high BC of 673. And then you have the 220 grain down here, 12, 32 foot pounds at 1,000 yards. Uh, and so all of these drop less than the options available from Hornady for the 6.5 Creedmoor, which is kind of disappointing because the Hornady did create the 6.5 Creedmoor. I would think they would have better options, but uh, it's still in its infantry, infancy, infancy. It's not been around too long. Uh, so I'm sure there's some things yet to come. But uh, looking at the com comparisons here, the uh, 300 Wind Mag just dominates the 6.5 Creedmoor. So the rumor that the 6.5 Creedmoor outperforms the 300 Wind Mag it was probably started based on a very low performing bullet to compared to a very high performing 6.5 millimeter bullet. And, uh, and you could certainly make that comparison. And if you compared this guy to say this guy right here, then yes, the 6.5 Creedmoor does beat the 300 Wind Mag at a thousand yards. But if you're comparing apples to apples and you go with the best of the best for both, then it's not a competition. A 300 Wind Mag will win hands down as far as energy delivered at a thousand yards. As far as recoil and all around, of course, the 6.5 Creamer will have far, far less recoil. So, but as far as energy performance goes, the 300 Wind Mag wins. Same thing can be seen. This is the Nostler reload data. Uh, I did 200 yard ballistics as well, just to show you the difference. But uh, starting with the 100 grain partition, only 250 foot pounds of energy at 1,000 yards, the max load 259. Uh, 200 yards, you're 15, 14 foot pounds of energy. Uh, so, I mean, again, you could use that for elk. That's pretty small. For elk, deer, it would be much more comfortable. Uh, and then uh, several options here. I'll just point out some of the ones I like. This bullet right here performs pretty well. It's their 129 grain long range bullet, 591 at 1,000 yards with the load, the minimum, or the most accurate, I should say, and the max load is 669. And then you move down here, they have their 142 grain long range, which does perform pretty well, 719 BC. So uh, I mentioned the Hornady was, was the highest BC available. Uh, that's for Hornady bullets. Uh, the highest, I think it's the highest BC out of all the, the bullets uh, Hornady makes, unless you get up into the, the 338 or the possibly the 50 BMGs. But um, this 719 BC is just incredible out of a little bullet like this. 142 grain, um, very conservative load, 673 foot pounds there, and then the max load's 824. Uh, so it's still not performing up to the factory specs of the uh, Hornady ELD X and ELD bullets from from Hornady. Uh, 300 Win Mag, the lowest performer for 300 Win Mag, um, I think was actually let's see, yeah, it was this it was uh, this guy right here, it's 49, uh, 419 there, and then they have some good ones. You get in the Acubon long range, uh, seeing similar numbers that we saw with those ELD Xs. Um, the Acubon is the newer version of the partition. It has the same or similar terminal performance once it hits the target, but the ballistic coefficients is much greater. So you can see 200 grain Acubon here, 1128 versus 830 for the same weight bullet, and it drops almost 40 inches less. So uh, go with an Acubon if you're going to do that. And then a 210 grain right here. Uh, 730 BC. This bullet is insane. Uh, insanely high BCs. 1438 foot pounds. That's the highest I believe we've seen so far. Uh, but uh, just incredible there. Um, even on the, the most accurate, which is a, a much lower load, you're getting 1258. Uh, it's pretty impressive there. And then the 220 partition. This one, I don't even know why they make it still, but they do. Horrible, horrible ballistic coefficients. Only 477 and 497 on the max load. But you're looking, look at that drop. <laughs> 530 inch drop. Don't reload this guy or buy factory ammo for the 220 grain partition. Unless you're shooting elephants at 100 yards. 
I wouldn't be using that guy. Here's some uh, the results down here. 6.5 Creedmoor load energy average. This is for the most accurate. 483. And then the max is 544. 300 wind mag most accurate average is 825. And the max is 897. And then you go down to the 200 yard and it's going to be quite a bit different there as well. Uh, even the gap between the two is even spread more because of uh, the power that the 300 wind mag has and all the lower ballistic coefficiency bullets do perform well at close range. So 1618 at 200 yards, 1831 foot pounds at 200 yards, which if you th think about it, that is a good amount of energy. Uh, that is an average there and I would feel comfortable hunting elk with some of these bullets uh, especially if we're getting an average energy of that high uh, shooting an elk at 200 yards that would be with a correct shot placement I wouldn't have any concerns about an ethical kill with that right there and of course the 300 wind mag for sure ethical kill 200 yards 29 29 foot pounds of energy 27 24 and the most accurate so right there very little gambling there most accurate load, very conservative on some of them, and uh, 27, 24 foot-pounds of energy at 200 yards. So the rumor that the 6.5 Creedmoor can outperform the 300 Win Mag is false. If you're comparing apples to apples, you can make your argument go however you would like. If you compare it with a old low BC hunting bullet for the 300 Win Mag and a very high BC match bullet for the 6.5 Creedmoor then maybe your argument would have something to stand on but if you compare apples to apples uh, match bullets for match bullets the 300 win mag will win every time it just has a lot more energy behind it uh, there are other options or other benefits to the 6.5 Creedmoor over the 300 win mag if you're looking at cost for reloading it's going to be maybe 30 percent of the cost uh, much cheaper to reload much less powder also the recoil is much less so thanks for joining me on this comparison here let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see and if you have any questions or comments post them below please subscribe if you like what you see i'll continue to do these videos and uh i try to do one a week it's been about a month though because of my life got a little busy i wasn't able to do one but uh, i will try to get another one up next week